Hi everyone and welcome back to Plan My Disney Holiday. Today I'm just going to be breaking down the choices that we made for our trip to Disneyland Paris. So first up we're staying at a Disney hotel, we're staying at Santa Fe as I've said in a previous video. The main reason for this is because we wanted a bit of convenience. We're not too sure of where we're going and what to expect because this is our first time going to Disneyland Paris. So we thought if staying on property we'll be able to be in walking distance, driving distance, bus distance and it'd be slightly more convenient than actually staying a bit further out and having to travel in. The other reason why we're staying on property is because of an incentive that Disney promoted um, when we booked to try and get a percentage off our food bill at different restaurants. So that is something that we're hoping to take advantage of, trying different cuisines and try different restaurants around the park. Ultimately, the reason why we're staying at Santa Fe out of all the hot hotels was one, it was one that was available when we were booking and two, it was the cheapest choice. Um, as I said, we we went with a Disney property because of the convenience and the incentive, but out of the, all the choices, pretty much Santa Fe stood out to us because it was the cheapest out of all of them. Really intrigued about the theming of this hotel with it being a Cars do like Cars, the original film, and I did actually enjoy Cars 3. Wasn't too sure about Cars 2, but it is something that I really am looking forward to experience and just having a look at. So, yeah, I'm really happy with our choice of Santa Fe. Hopefully in the future we get to experience a lot of different other hotels. I really would love to go and visit the Marvel Hotel in Disneyland Paris. It looks absolutely amazing. Hopefully we will visit it while we're out there, but if not, maybe it's something for a future um trip. The reason why we're driving to Disneyland Paris is mostly because cost. We thought it might be the cheapest option. There is a few things that I have already purchased or a few things that I've already spent money on, um, So, such as a breakdown kit in case we need it in France, high-vis uh, high jackets and vests. We've got a, an emergency triangle in the car. So yeah, we've got all of this stuff that we needed for friends as well. I've just had the car MOT to make sure that it's fully up to scratch. So yeah, it's I have spent a bit of money to try and make sure that the car is ready for my trip to Disneyland Paris. So it would be kind of intriguing with petrol and everything else, um, how much it would be to travel by car in comparison to rail or by flying. So again, it's something that I'm really intrigued about. Um, the reason why we have chosen car as well is because we weren't too sure what to expect with the train travel or flying, um, about how to get from train stations or if we needed to change. And again, with flying, how we would get from the airport to the um, resort. But it's something I'm looking forward to finding out in future trips. What is your preferred mode of transportation to Disneyland Paris? Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried all three or are you stuck with one way because it works so well? Let me know. I'm really intrigued to see. At this moment, we haven't got anything booked in a restaurant, but we are excited to try some of the cuisines. We're going to speak to cast members when we get to Disney to understand what recommendations they have. One that we are looking at particularly is the Remy restaurant. That looks amazing. The theming looks brilliant and it is something that we really do want to try. My mother-in-law is a big fan of breakfast, so we'll be definitely trying a few of the breakfasts that will be available there. So I'm really excited. We're hopefully going to try as much as we possibly can and work around it. At the moment, we've seen that the booking slots are kind of limited, especially with us only deciding in the last couple of weeks that we're going to go. Because, like I said in the previous video, we were going to cancel at one point in January, but changed our minds because France opened the borders. So it has been a rush to try and get as much stuff done as possible. Um, and it's just been fantastic. So let me know if you've got any recommendations for restaurants that I need to check out while I'm out there. I would love to know which ones are the best. Another choice that we made about this trip is the time that we are going. We're going early February, mid-February to try and experience as much as possible. I do know that if I'd waited a month and a half, two months, that I'd be going during the 30th celebration. Again, this was coming down to cost. It was slightly cheaper to go the week that we're going than any of the other weeks around it. And we sort of wanted to experience what it was like before the 30th anniversary, see if we can go during the 30th anniversary and see what changes and we'll see what's different. Um, 
there is a few attractions I think that will be closed that we'll miss we'll miss out on so again hopefully that will be a future trip um but I'm kind of excited just for to see what is going to be available when we come and finally while we're out there we will not be using Premier Access this is to try and keep it as simple as possible with it being our first trip we just wanted to keep it as simple as possible try and keep it the costs low and just try and experience as much as we can um I know that Premier Access is a bit like Fastpass and Disney Genie now in Walt Disney World and it's something that we were umming and ahhing about but ultimately we've chosen to not go with and see how our trip is and maybe in a future trip we might try to, uh, Premier Access. We are look at, looking at maybe getting our uh, uh, annual subscription maybe it, that could be a choice again depending on how easy or difficult this trip may be. We will review all of this once we return, both me and my wife, and see what we think. But we will keep you guys up to date. Thanks for watching this video. Have, if you've got any questions, write them in the comments below. Um, if you've got any suggestions, I'd love to know. Um, I have got a video idea coming up about things that I do want to experience while I'm in Disneyland Paris. So if you've got any suggestions, write them in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you all real soon.